just into Chan Man Gaming. Get the hell out of here! One sword, you get the hell out of here! It's Chai Man Gaming. What is going on, everybody out here in YouTube land? This is C M G A K A Chariot Man Gaming, and I'm coming at you with a special video, a special request video from one of my subscribers. His name is Shizzles. This is for you, Shizzles. This is for everybody else out there in YouTube land that want to know how to stream with the Steam Deck. I don't know if it's not too many videos out there, they may be, but I'm putting my video out there. How do you stream with the Steam Deck? But before I get started with this epic video of proportions, don't forget to smash that like button, share, and subscribe to CMG. And if you don't like this video, you can take your keyboard, your Xbox Series X, your PlayStation 5, your Nintendo Switch, and that damn Steam Deck, and you send it all the way out there up in the depths of the goddamn barren sea. And hit my media outlets. Hit my media outlets. Check me out on TikTok. I am hilarious. Again, I'm going in with Pokemon Violet and Scarlet, which is suck. I'm going in. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. And follow me on Cherry Man Gaming on Twitter. And now let's get into this video. Now, my gamers, my gamers, you want to know how do you stream with the Steam Deck? But how? With is a very simple process. Very simple. Now my gamers, I've been meaning to look for this video, but you know what? It's time for me to put up set up this video. So I'm gonna do this for you guys. Now, what you're gonna have to do, because I'm gonna say this is a very easy, simple process, it's not that hard, it's very simple, it's just like doing the Nintendo Switch. What you have to do, what's the most important thing? What is the most important thing, my gamers, that you have to have is a capture card. Yes, that's right. You have to have one of these. You have to have a Elgato capture card. Now they don't have the HD 60s. They're gonna have the HD 60 plus, which I'm gonna show you. You're gonna have a capture card. You gotta have one of these in order. The first thing you wanna do. This is what you have to get. This is the number one thing. You cannot stream without the capture card. With you know, with the Stadia, with the Nintendo, I mean, with the Nintendo Switch. Excuse me. Xbox Series X, Xbox One, any etc. Any console. Nintendo Switch, the same thing goes with Switch. You gotta have a capture card. This, and this thing works flawlessly. That's what you're gonna have to do. This is the first thing. Of course, the second thing, you, of course you gotta have your Steam Deck. You're gonna have to have your Steam Deck, all right? You also, what I would recommend, I'm gonna put everything in the description box. I'm gonna put all the items in the description box that you need. You gotta get you an HDMI port. Now you gotta, now you can get any HDMI, you can get any cheap. You gotta have these two connectors, right? with the HDMI port. You have to have these two connectors right here with the HDMI port. If you don't have this, you're dead. You're, you're dead. You're, you're in trouble. Like, I'm going to put it up here so you can focus here. The camera can focus here. It can, uh, can get it to focus. If it can just have it, you got to have those connectors. If you don't have these connectors, it ain't working. So you got to have these connectors in HDMI port. And of course, you got to have your, you know, a, a dock. Any dock. It don't have to be this dock. You can have any dock and it has the connections. You know, I'm gonna take out the dock to let you know what it is. All right, I'm gonna take the take that dock out of there. All right, you gotta have the dock, so you're gonna have the connectors right here, so you have all of the connectors. All of the connectors in the dock of the damn thing don't freaking focus. I swear these damn cameras don't focus for the damn thing. I don't know why they're not focusing. But yeah, you gotta have all these connectors. That all of these are the three 3.0 USB. Then you have the Ethernet, and then you have the HDMI, which that HDMI cord has to go into. And then you have the, this one. This is different. So you know, basically, this is the only particular dock that you have to have that. So you just put that in there. Voila. All right. Basically, it. That's basically it. So that's all you need. All right, and that's it. That's all you basically you need. So now, basically, this is how this works. All right, gamers, my gamers, this is how this works. The first thing you're gonna do, you get your any dock. You have the dock. You have this. But before I do that, 
this connector right here, this is what you're going to have to do. What you're going to have to do, now, now pay now pay close attention, this is a very simple process. You take the dock here, right? It comes with the cord. You put the USB, this HDMI with USB Type-C 3.0. Now you can get an extra one, I suggest you to get an extra one, right? Because I don't have an extra one. You get an extra one, a USB Type-C with HDMI. You put it in the USB Type-C here, like that. And out and in, right? And you have this HDMI. This will go in directly into your PC with the USB, you know, 3.0. Though, do not put it in any other USB. Put this in USB 3.0, the blue, the blue slot on the, on the on the PC, the blue slot. Now, you have this, right? These are the connectors, the uh, HDMI port right here. You take the HDMI port, very simple. You put it in HDMI in like this, like that. See? You put them in, this is the graphics, this is the um, capture card, like that. You take the other end of the HDMI port, the other end, this is the other end of the HDMI port, and you put it into the dock, like that. Like that, right? Now, that cord I was talking about, this part, the blue part, will go directly into the PC. Now, if you have any PC, any PC, you know, you put it in any slot. Now, I'm not going to show you the PC, but this right here, this goes into the USB type slot on your PC now. Remember, this goes on your PC. All right? It's in the end, in right here like this, and this goes directly on your PC. All right? If I could get this damn thing to focus. All right? This goes on your PC, and you put it in like that. You put it into your PC. And, of course, you know, if you have your plug, now of course, my gamers, you have your, your plug. The watt plug that comes with the Steam Deck. This plug right here, this is the Steam Deck plug. You put it now. You know that it's already connected. Now you put the Steam Deck here, right? You take the Steam Deck. You put, you drop it on on top like that. Insert the insert the US HDMI like that. You put the HDMI right there. All right, because this is where it's going to receive the power. The power is already there. This is it. Now the plug. The plug like like so. You take the plug. This is the H, this is the um the power supply of the H, um the, of the Steam Deck. This is the way you're hooking it up. All right. You put it in the back because it could go anywhere into the um the USB Type C of the um the dock, and then you put and you and you plug it into the um like so. Now my gamers, I'm gonna let you see some gameplay here. Hold on for a second. I'm gonna record gameplay here, and I'm gonna check you out right now. I'm gonna show you other stuff as I turn this on because it's very simple. Right about. Now, check out the gameplay, because I'm not going to show you. Check it out. I'm going to show you on the screen now, right now, what it would look like and what you're going to have to do right now. Okay, what is up, everybody out here in YouTube land? We back at it again. This time, we are directly inside of the video, not outside. We are inside of the video. We're back at it to show you how to record and stream on your Steam Deck right here on CMG Chariot Man Gaming. So we're gonna check it right now. So what you're gonna have to do is that I'm gonna go right here. What gonna have to do is you're gonna go right here into the Google. You're gonna have to go into your Google. You go into the Google site right here. The first thing you're gonna have to do is go to El, um, Elgato. So you're gonna go to your Elgato and you're gonna wanna have to get you an Elgato. The first thing you're gonna have to go is get you an Elgato. Everything will be in the description box, by the way. So don't, don't worry about that. You pick out your Elgato, whatever Elgato you wanna deal, your video capture, your 4K 60 Pro, your 4K 60S, that's, that's you know, if you want to go higher there. But if you want to get something simple, you go to HD 4, uh, 4K 60, and you know, you save, you save, you know, you save about, you know, about, that's what it'll look like. It'll look like this right here. You need to get one of this. It'll call you $179.99. Highly recommend this one, but I got the HD 60, because they don't got the HD 60, you know, anymore. I got the, this is the HD 60 S plus. I don't have the plus. I have the HD, HD 60 S, but this is what you, what's going to have. You order this or you can go to amazon.com, go to Amazon. And then you go to, you, you can go to, El, El, you go to Amazon Elgato. Okay. You go to Elgato on Amazon and these are the capture cards right here. And you can get the capture card right there for $156. Highly recommend this capture card right here. This is what you need to stream. This is what you need to stream your Xbox Series X, place, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and OBS mode works for PC and Mac. So if you have a PC, so that's basically what your Steam Deck is a PC, Nintendo Switches, it works for all of that. And then they got other uh, 
they have other capture cards right here that you might need you know if you want other capture cards it ain't uh it ain't, it ain't elgato but i highly recommend gallo I don't mess with anything else but Elgato, but they got other, other capture cards. So you get that. So you, you buy the capture card. That's what you need. And then you go to this website right here, Elgato. And then what you go to, when you do that, you get the Elgato capture card. You go down here. What you're going to do is you're going to go down and you buy, right? You could buy your capture card. You buy it. After you buy, after you get this capture card, when you get the Elgato capture card, you go to this website and you download the drivers. You download it, which is simple. You don't basically have to go here, but you want you could go here. But this is this is what the capture card you might get. But you could go to Amazon anywhere, and you go to downloads, and then you select your product. You check first. You want to check your Windows. What kind of Windows you got? You check your Windows. What kind of Windows you got? And uh, you go to your capture card here. Your capture card 4K 60s or HD 60s. So you have an HD 60s. You pick that. And you download it and it has it has, it's compatible with 4k unity and you download you can download your 64 bit version history or you find your drivers right there if you have a, a 32 uh they have they have it for different drivers and stuff such and such and uh yeah you have it for different drivers and everything so you get it and you check your version history 4k uh, uh windows 10 and 64 bit you know such and such if you have a 32 bit they have that for 32 bit if you wanted to get it to 32 bit but i have a 64 bit uh window so you got to get a windows uh you know you download this and uh, you're good to go also after you finish downloading you're going to download it it's going to tell you what you got to do now after you download it what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download obs obs studio so you go to obs studio and you download obs studio it's going to tell you the windows download is very simple it downloads real quickly you click on download as I just did you click on download thank you for downloading OBS Studios very quickly it has the latest update it's gonna download to your computer you download all that it's gonna come on and then when you download if you have Windows Linux just download it it's very simple and then voila you get you get this you get all of this get everything here and basically you downloading you downloading the studio and after you download it, then you have to, you know, you set up your scenes. If you have, if you ever had um, stream from the Nintendo Switch or PS5, Xbox Series X, you know, then you have all your scenes and everything here. Everything that you hear, I have my scenes right here. You can check that out. Pretty simple. And I'm recording as I'm talking to you. I'm recording right now. So, yeah, so it's basically it. So if you have any, you know, and then I'm going to leave this, uh, scene right here i have the scene right here browser windows you take off the web browser now i have my i made my own steam deck uh scene so this is my steam deck scene so i have a scene right here and basically i'm on my steam deck and that's how you stream right there so this is through elgato my elgato and when you check your elgato okay hold on for a second here my gamers you check your you get to check your Elgato. i'm gonna go back into that scene so you can be able to see what i'm talking about i'm gonna drop back into that browser scene right here and you'll be able to see the Elgato right about now. So there's my Elgato. And then you have the Elgato and it tells you where you want to record. Where's the recording from? Your, your device. It's telling you the device that you're recording from and uh, your picture. This is the Elgato that's being downloaded. So it, it, it grabbed my, my, my graphics card that you're using. The sound is coming from game capture. So it's a bit different now. So it's a different it's a different Elgato. So you can basically, it, it works as, as anything. So it basically streams from your Elgato. So now if you check your Elgato, then you, you it, it, it automatically streams it and that's it. And then basically it. Then I'm going to take off the browser wheels. This is all my, these are all my scenes right here. So if you want to get into an OBS, you know, here you go. Now I'm in my scene. Now I'm on basically on the Steam Deck and I'm really going to Steam Deck and that's it. And then I'm not going to have any, uh, my gamers, I'm not going to have any, these are my Steam Deck games here. And basically, I um, want to give you some quick gameplay here. So if you don't mind the gameplay, I'm going to give you some quick gameplay. And this is what you do on the... And basically it, my gamers. And then basically it, my gamers. We are we are streaming. We are we are recording through the Steam Deck and we're streaming. So this is basically, I could be streaming and I'm recording. Hold on for a second here, my gamers. I'm gonna load this down for you but basically this is what we're doing we are streaming from the steam deck you know and so you see this good gameplay here but basically that's it man that's all you got to do it's very simple it's a very simple process 
So my game is set. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about this uh, Steam Deck tutorial and how you stream and record on the Steam Deck. Let me know in the goddamn comments. Oh my God, just died. And all I have got to say is, God dog on it, sound off in the comment section and tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what you think about this crazy situation what you think about it and don't forget to hit that like button and share and subscribe to cmg aka chariot man gaming and to smash this like button smash the subscribe hit the notifications if you want more bitches like this as you've seen today i'd like to thank you for all of the wonderful comments you guys are sending me thank you for all the support the road to 1k is at hand there will be giveaways in the near future when i hit 1k there's a lot of stories i'm going to tell about what i'm all about what the name chariot man is all about i will finally reveal that very soon that i have not been talking about it i will reveal it in full i i had chosen this name as a, as a gaming channel and i'm gonna say peace and i'm gonna tell you to keep it gaming got more content coming on the way more exciting content is coming steam deck content and other stuff is coming rants and everything and i'm gonna say peace and keep it gaming peace